doesn't matter what we do, the, the focus is every time we, we have a two shot or we cut to you, th th there's it's something. It's nice to me when I've got 300 grand worth of stuff around my neck. $331,000 worth of. And 10, because I've got five $2 bracelets on, so yeah. It all adds up. <laughs> 341000 No, no, they're not $10,000. $330,000 and $10. $10, yeah. Look, it's a bit. It's a bit blue. Can I swap it over for the real one? Because I kept that in the bag. Please, please. So. I'm so scared of having this around my neck. All right, well, this is the real one. Let me take the fake off your neck. And uh, oh. no, I at the risk of the security guards coming out of the audience. As I speak, I think I'll put that back there. Listen, next week we're giving away a trip to Hong Kong. No, not next week. We are going to tell you about the trip, the competition that we're giving <laughs> two people to go to Hong Kong just to escape Hey Hat Saturday. Yes, four nights in Hong Kong at the Marco Polo Hotel received MTR Rail Pass. Do we have any footage of this? I don't think we do, do we? We're just a mention. All right, Hong Kong sightseeing tour and shopping tour. Andrew can draw something for you. Draw Hong Kong, draw Andrew. Draw Hong Kong, uh, Andrew. Yeah, yeah. You just draw Hong Kong for us. You've got about three seconds, three all right? Um, <laughs> so, a sightseeing tour and a shopping tour. Tour. And in Hong Kong, yeah, you'll be able to go and see and see sights of Hong Kong like Andrew. Like, like oh, the boys are mining the Okay, you're the subjects of one, you see. You're looking around. But these are the sights you will see. The sights that Andrew has drawn. Hong oh, Kong. Oh, you see? A couple of people up there looking around at the the buildings. Hello, Joe. Love you a long time. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, so that's... We'll give you all the details of how to enter next week. We've made it sound fun, haven't we? I think we have made it <laughs> sound fun. Uh, David Hughes has been uh, doing stand-up comedy for four years now. He's had uh, a couple of shows at the recent comedy festivals. He's got a couple of shows he's done on Foxtel. He's, he's working a lot because he's funny. Here he is, David Hughes. <laughs> Hello everyone, how are we going? Yeah, great. Having a good time? Yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> now you're all wondering about me, you're all interested in what I've been up to in my life and that's fair enough, I don't blame you. <laughs> I've had an interesting life. I haven't always done comedy, I've done other things. A couple of years I studied at uni. I did accounting for, two, oh well, for a couple of years. I thought it was going all right till I had my first work experience. I'm sitting there in the office and the guy said, mate, can you work this out? I said, mate, why don't you work it out? <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't go that well, but still comes in handy, that training, because now when I shoplift, I know exactly how much I've saved. <laughs> Guys, I don't shoplift and I don't, you know, I don't, kiddies don't do it. They're very heavy. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I don't shoplift, but I do go into fruit and veg shops and eat grapes. I've got a lot of time on my hands. I can eat a lot of grapes. <laughs> I was in the shop the other day chowing down on these grapes. They were beautiful. There was no pips, you know. I wasn't making a mess of the store. I thought everyone was having a good time. Eventually the girl behind the counter said, Mate, you're going to buy some of them? I said, I don't have to. Now I'm full. <laughs> there you go. Full on. I've got a lot of time on my hands. I'm... Because I'm on the dole, you know, it's sad, guys. It's hard being on the dole, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Not as hard as working, but it's still hard. <laughs> But we have our up times. We had an up time a while ago, you know. They gave me this book and I said, is that a present for me? And they said, yeah, that's your dull diary. I said, oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> I took it home and I didn't let anyone touch it. I was really happy with it. But the problem is I've got to hand in on after the weekend, which means I've got to look for 48 jobs before 9 o'clock Monday morning. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work, but I've devised a scheme. I don't know if this is going to work either, but I'm having a go. I'm going to be at the studio door at the end of this show, guys. Now, if anyone here's got a business, I don't care whether it's large or small. If you've got a business, I'm going to be at the door. I'd love it if you'd walk past me and go, nah, mate. <laughs> and I'll go, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Thank you, but obviously my business now is comedy and it's going great. I'm very happy, yeah. I actually did a spot on Hey Hey last year. Did anyone here see it? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I even the crew saw it. Daryl saw it. Thanks, Daryl. <laughs> sent me a card. It was great. Anyway, back to the script. <laughs> no, I was, it was great doing the spot on Hey Hey, but like I, I rang up Dad before I did it. Like I tried to set the picture of my parents and my career choice. I lived at home for 22 years. 
didn't make mum and dad laugh once. <laughs> Went home one day and said, mum and dad, I'm a comedian. <laughs> they looked at each other and said, he's gone nuts. <laughs> I rang up dad before I did hey, hey, this is true. I rang up dad, I said, dad, I'm doing hey, hey. He said to me, what, you're doing funny faces, are ya? <laughs> I said, there isn't even a segment called funny faces. You don't care about me at all. He said, hang on, I got call waiting. <laughs> and he never got back to me. That's an obvious lie, as if Dad would ever be able to work out call waiting. <laughs> Did any of you guys go to my comedy festival show last year? No. no. You didn't, did ya? It would have been good to have an audience. It's hard doing a show when there was only like one person in the room and that was the bar staff. <laughs> Most nights she left too. <laughs> I think, do I keep going? Or do I mix myself a drink? <laughs> Tough showbiz questions. Funny thing was though, in the, for the festival guide, for the phone number, for the bookings number, we had our phone number at home. So people rang up thinking they were getting bass, or one person rang up, thought she was getting bass, but she wasn't. She was getting me out of bed <laughs> at about 2.30. <laughs> I picked the phone, I said, yeah. This lady says, is that the bookings off for Husey and Friends Alive in the government? I said, yeah, <laughs> it is. She said, can I book? I said, yeah, but I can't find a pen. <laughs> so just turn up. She said, can we get seats? I said, yeah, we'll organise some chairs. <laughs> then I said, do you want us to pick you up? <laughs> We've got an Ur van. <laughs> It's been a great crowd, thanks for listening. Yeah.